Oh, this camera looks all messed up. Alrighty, what is going on today, YouTube? We are going to be playing some Delver. Playing some Delver today, having a little fun. It's been a while since I've been on the stream. Playing Bug Delver. I took this this um, I took this deck to a top 64 finish the last SCG I went to. Like the deck a lot. Changed a couple cards around. Um, but first time I played, I guess, you know, a couple months. I'm actually in a league right now. I'm actually getting beat up a little bit. I've lost twice to lost twice to Sneak and Show. In this league, and then I beat a reanimator deck. So let's go on and jump on for, I don't know, four, four or five matches. Not exactly sure how long. Oh, I just, I just dropped. I just dropped because I actually wanted to do some changes. I don't know what they are, though. I just kind of want to play now. So let's go. Competitive Legacy. Oh, here's my puppy. Let's get these tickets. And let's play. I thought about adding a Hydro Blast, and I wanted to add a Diabolic Edict, but just didn't really have the time to get to those. Took my dog to a vet tonight. He has, he's got to get his ears clean. He's got a little ear infection, but besides that, he's healthy, which is great. And I'm super excited about it. So, there he is. Oh my god, he's cute. Hey, none of that, buddy. No, no chewing on that. I'm gonna have to move back and forth between hanging with a dog and parenting. I'll keep this hand. This is a good hand here. We have turn one shaman on the play with double days and a force if we need it. No. Chew on that. Good boy. Good boy. Go get an underground C. Because that is the best land in the deck. And then get get the uh, get our Lord and Savior out. I've not played very much Legacy at all, but like this card blows my mind. Like, this card is just so good. I, I didn't play with it very long in Modern. Yeah, we're gonna use this. I probably should have done this on my upkeep. They went to days back. But days back, I think I'm just going to let it happen and then ponder. I don't really want to blow because this is probably like a Grixis Delver deck. Okay. All right. So let's Del. We're going to ponder on our main phase. See if we can get in anything. That's pretty good. I could brainstorm, and, but I think I just want to ponder. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, there you are. Do you want to ponder with me, Philly? Okay. That's pretty good. We can get this thing to flip to force. So we'll go like this, this, this. Don't shuffle. I'm not drawing a land, so that Tarnaloif is not gonna probably not gonna be super great. I'll take it out of this graveyard because we have tomb stalkers. Add a blue. And pass now because I know I have a tongue wave coming. I might be much more aggressive with fighting to keep this death right shaman into play because I'm not drawing a land for at least two turns. Wasteland, okay. You need your phone charger? This right here? Is there a block? Do you have a block? Oh, right here. Where's the puppy asking the real questions? All right, we'll get him on. We'll get him on. Come on, buddy. 
right here, pal. All right, so they're going to hit this. I think I'm going to force to fight over this because I don't have any lands. And I need I, don't, I need this Delver flip. So I think I'm actually I'm going to force and pitch the days. You're on YouTube, buddy. You're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Yeah, you are. Force is back. Okay. So we're gonna get we're we're definitely behind the eight ball here. But our delver's gonna flip. We're not drawing a land for a little while, but at least we have a force to fight over something. What's going on, pal? What's going on, pal? Oh, you wanna go down? You have a too much energy? Oh, okay. He's got a little too much energy. He'll, he's he's gonna calm down here in a second. We've got if you wanna see some more of him, you can check this out. He is adorable. Okay, so we draw force. We don't have any lands, and we're not drawing another land because of this. Because uh, um, we have Tarmogoyf underneath. Ooh, I need a plug in here. Forgot about that. Give me one second. My bit rate is crashing. Get in there with the insect. Our opponent does only have two resources, and we have their first building, their first business spell taken care of. So, looks like my bit rate is still on the struggle bus a little bit. It's going to come back here in a second. So, my opponent just goes red, red. Nothing else going on. As we draw a time of life, we draw a land where. I think we could win this game if we draw a land. This brainstorm is definitely forcible fodder at this point. So it doesn't do anything. They know we have force. I mean, we, we they know the sucks is that they, they, they know we have force of will. We kind of okay. So all right. Surprised they did that. They knew we had force. I guess they were, were hoping we didn't have a blue card. This little this is a little insect that could here. What is this? I'm assuming I'm playing against like Grixis Delver. Rug Delver, okay. Little boy, right? Well we're winning that race. It's gonna stifle up. But we're not, you know. At this point, I mean they've only actually got I guess they don't have that many removal spells. In their deck, they probably only got like four lightning bolts and some number of dismembers slash um, maybe like fork bolts. They go like double goy. We play another goy. No, no more goys. All right, that's a good draw. So let's get in here and attack. And then I think I'm just I'm not doing anything with this. I might like try to push this in the upkeep. Let's see. We're gonna hold tight because I don't know. Like, if I'm going to brainstorm or if I'm just going to push this, I'm probably going to take this damage because I'm going to want to hit a Delver. Oh, we got it. So, we're playing against Rug Delver, looks like. So, the Goose is great. Um, Loam is probably good. I don't want any of these hymns. Abrupt Decay is very good. I kind of want all of my removal spells. Dismember, Abrupt Decay, Loam. Loam to kind of play the Wasteland game. Might be alright. On the draw, I'll probably cut some number of dazes. Maybe bring in like one Deluge. Because Deluge is at least an out to Nibble Mongoose. I don't really want to keep all of my forces, but like... Maybe I could cut one force for a Spell Pierce. Just because... I'm going to have to fight over a mana denial plan, and that's going to be difficult. So, like, I would kind of maybe want to board out more forces, but I don't want to just get, like, have no lands and not be able to play the game. So let me see what this looks like. I don't really know what's going on. Like, I don't really have any idea how to, you know, play this. Golgari Charm doesn't do anything. Let's say, like, Sulfuric Vortex. But we have four decays, three pushes, and a dismember. So we just need to, like... Maybe because of like how we're sideboarding, we want 
to keep this in and then maybe cut one more days to be able to just make sure that we don't get got by a nimble mongoose. Yeah, we don't want the goose getting loose. So excited. It's been a while since I've been streaming. Back in the game. Had an exam going that did not did not go very well, which was unfortunate. Um, well, I'm gonna keep this hand because it's it's pretty it's pretty like mana flooded, which against like the wasteland and stifle deck, I'm pretty excited about. So I could just lead on Deathrite Shaman, or and they daze. They daze it. I don't really want to get my Deathrite Shaman dazed. I could just try to dismember this in their upkeep. But if that happens and like I don't have anything and I gotta take a bunch of life. Or I could just ponder. I think I'm gonna ponder. I don't want to get my death right shaman dazed. I would like to get that have that resolve. Yeah. Nope. So now we'll see what they have. They do not show us, so it's not flipping. Okay, so Delver is going to flip next turn. If they just shuffle here, I might just, like, go Deathrite Shaman. They chose not to shuffle. I think I'm going to lead on Shaman. And then fetch now. I guess I have, I have plenty of lands. Yeah. Well, that changes that. So, lead on Shaman, then play Delver, then pass. This Delver probably flips like a lightning bolt, and then I'm kind of sad. Next turn, we're going to be able to pay Brainstorm. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, he's out. Okay, yeah, let's get my shaman. There he is, there he is. He's so cute. Look how cute he is. Oh, we can't see it because of the cactus. No. The, the lag. Okay, so my opponent. So you still have a brainstorm. So if they go to crack this, I might just dismember it paying some life yes I would like to reveal fatal push my opponent like brainstorms for a force that's not that bad okay Oh, I should have my tunes going. Yeah. All right, well, now we're kind of in the driver's seat. I thought it was a true name that says that could kind of suck. Bolt. Okay. Now, my opponent has a brainstorm, and I don't. So that's kind of it's a little sad. All right, it's a big turn of So I brainstorm. And then one other card. I think I'm just gonna wait on my and then on my turn, like dismember this without paying any life. Well, I could change. So now I can actually just ponder. Keep my fetch land. Um so I actually could just draw wasteland. Then dismember this Tarmogoyf. Shuffle, a, I could draw a wasteland, shuffle, like hit this green source, shuffle it away, and then pay for this. See, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, go like this. No. Draw the wasteland. This isn't Grogoyf. No, there's already instant there. So now I'll get a trop. And I'll pay just two life for this. OK. 
Kind of sucks shuffling away that deluge. But but now it looks like we're opponents just got a brainstorm in hand. So they've got a good one, but we are like a head on we're not really ahead on board, but we're not really ahead on very many metrics in this game, but we have a lot of good draws. Like we draw Tombstalker, we can draw Liliana, Tarmogoyf, and a green source. We have another Tarmogoyf, okay. Alright, well if what's fair is fair. Decay. Okay, nice. I think I don't want this deluge. I think we're just gonna go like that. I'm gonna just actually just do this now so that my fetch line doesn't get stifled because I would like a shuffle. Um let's get a uh, get a now I have a goif to check his goif. I'm gonna block if they bolt my goif and they bolt my goif. But I don't want to get like too low. Okay, so the wasteland. All right, opponent stays put. And then I'm just gonna hold this goif. I'm not gonna get dazed. Like they still they've shown us days. I almost had this deck built like four or five years ago when it was just much cheaper. I had it everything but like, oh, so they're cutting us off, okay. So much for playing around days. Bonus dead next turn. And then we're kind of, I don't know which Delver deck's better to tell you the truth. Like, I don't know enough about Legacy too. Let me move this over here and get this. Get the music going. So pretty much, we're good as long as we don't get true name nemesis. Nemesis, we're good. There we go. All right. Starting the league off right. That is exciting, and I've got a new emote. I'm even more pumped. I just love this thing. This thing is so good. Look, it's little Philly playing playing magic cards. I watched a stream with Philly today. That's how awesome that was. The best dog ever. The deck up here, so you stop scrubbing. It's nice. Yeah, I think that I might want like a Hydro Blast in here, and I probably should have like a Diabolic Edict. I've got three removal spells in my sideboard because I like to just make a quick. I think it's good to make be able to make a clean swap between him to Torok and removal spells because I actually don't think that him is very good in any matchup that plays to the board. Oh, he is insane. Just look at him. Should I get up higher? What a cheesy. I might play this deck in the Modern Challenge this weekend. It could happen. Play like a little match. All right, eleven poster ninety five. I don't recognize the name, but I don't play a lot of legacy, so it would make sense for me not to recognize the names. Lost it, I roll. We could get turn one. It is a big bed, yep. Yeah. Well, he's gonna get bigger. Like they think that he's gonna, they think that he's gonna get to be probably about um, eighty pounds, Kish. So eventually, that's that's not even gonna be enough bed. 
no land heater. I play 20, where are all where are they? So this, I actually don't mind drawing, exactly, I don't mind drawing this force because I don't mind pitching it. Because either like it's a combo deck and a second force is going to be good, or I can pitch a force to this force and then I can use both my cantrips. So I think I'm actually just going to keep this on top. My cantrips will find me a threat. Hopefully there's nothing I have to turn one here. What? Cloud post, okay. I have no idea what's going on. We're probably going to get Chalice, but it's nice that we have a Buff Decay. Go get Underground Siege Ponder. We're looking for just a Tarmal Life at this point. Yeah, we're just going to shuffle this. We can't We can't flip our Delver. We could flip our Delver if we really wanted to, but I don't think that's worth it. Any order? Yes. All right, there's our threat. Cloud post, I do not know them the Basuva, so how much is this? So this can tap for two. There's nothing. Okay. Brainstorm. I don't really want to brainstorm because I kinda like all my cards. Like this is for a chalice. I mean there's probably gonna be some serious shenanigans coming down from our opponent. So My opponent, they could like warping whale this, I guess. I might force that. Now right, we are cantrip. We are cantrip up here. I hope it's not like a cavern near the warping whale. Yeah. I guess the shaman's not really doing that much. Yeah, we're just gonna let this go, I guess. That kind of sucks. Maybe I should have kept that. I don't know. All right, so now we're gonna get the brainstorm. All right, Coon Daddy is in the house. Just want now. I just want to get this. This guy in play quick. One, two, three, four, potentially five. Yeah, we could we could get him to play next turn. Does okay, so we have brainstorm days under that. So we can definitely shuffle back one of these about days. And I think we can shuffle back this days. And then I haven't played a land yet. So I might as well get a trap. And then I can brainstorm again. I'm kind of just doing this to find maybe like a one drop threat to play. Okay. All right, so we don't need a third force. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go with we don't need the force here. What's up, buddy? What's up, pal? You up and moving? What are you doing? Oh, he's right here. It'll pass. Hey. It's good. He's right here next to me. Now he saw you, so he's moving. So at least we're going to be able to play Tombstalker next turn. Probably get like a Bayou so that I've got double green, double black, double blue. Man is all set. I'm probably just going to do anything. Jesus. Way now. So now, if I find something that I can play it, I can like do something else again. Like, yeah, so, ready to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so now we should be doing good. As we got a big guy down. 
And at this point, I might just, if my opponent tries to kill this Delver, I might just, like, if they try warping well this Delver, I might just force it. Just to get a, just to get a, um, I don't know, just to get the clock on, like, eight in the air, eight in the air. I don't really know what my, else my opponent's deck can do, though. Which is a problem. So these count, he's got five mana right now. Sylvan Library. That's all right, because we can just decay it if we need to. We're probably beyond the point of this game where this card's really going to matter. So maybe I can just, like, clock him. See if this Delver flips. Flip me a Delver. I have no idea what's... Him to Torak, yeah. So now we're not going to... We're just gonna go him our opponent. It's better than get some cards out of his hand. Then we have a force back up. If he goes, if he draws any cards with this library, punishing fire crop rotation. Okay, that's kind of scary. So now he can't draw an extra card, which kind of takes some of the spice off of this. Everyone's having a good time. We have five people hanging out, seeing, watching me play, and seeing my dog. You know the dog's. Is, is my, oh, he's sitting over there in the corner now. Oh, they do a car. Okay, what do you got, man? What could they possibly? I don't I mean I don't know what's in my opponent's deck. This must be like an abrupt like get a bad lands and abrupt decay my Delver. This could be a frag test. What is what is this? Six mana. Crop rotation. What does this do? Oh, Johnny. I don't know what this gets. My opponent's already played a land. So I think I'm just gonna port this. I don't know what it, what this gets. Like, I guess Tabernacle doesn't do it. They have a Punishing Fire in the graveyard. I already played a land. This is the Thought Nuts here on the way out. What is this Drag Dust? Do you actually have a Drag Dust? We need some Zenith for four, okay. It could have gotten another post, yep. Oracle. Candle Abba. So you may play an additional land on the turn. Okay. I have no idea what's going on here. We got Candle Abras. I'm assuming if I can set up some Life from the Loam Wasteland thing, we're going to be in good shape. I'm going to go with my Fatal Pushes on Graves. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't really, cause like, I think I want some number of Abrupt Decays, because he showed me, he's probably got like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I will. Oh, thank you. He's probably got Expedition Maps, but those aren't very good on the draw, but he's probably got Chalice, too. So he showed, he's, I guess he had Candelabra, so he might not have Chalice. Maybe I just want this. Maybe. Because this hits the... Well, I guess I don't want this. I might as well just want the Abrupt Decay. This doesn't do anything else besides... These cards do no difference besides... Yeah. I don't really know. It's kind of like Tron. Okay. I probably want another him. And then maybe I want like all of my low to the ground disruption. And I don't want like some of my top end. Yeah, I was just wondering if you had surgical if not. 
Because like I was thinking about this deck, and I played I played a couple matches with it beforehand, and I just thought to myself like, why doesn't this deck play two main nemesis? You know? And maybe if I was going to the chalice, then or was going to the uh, going to do the challenge, I might want to try. Maybe at some point this weekend, try playing with Tuna Nemesis. Okay, uh, yeah, this hand's great. We, we, we get chaliced on one, and we get chaliced on one. Should I just waste this, or should I play Death Ray Challenge? I guess if I just waste this and he's got a Vesuva, then it, it kind of messes with him. Yeah, I'm just gonna. And he could Needle Wasteland. Seems like something his deck could do. I guess I shouldn't auto pass. It's not a Cloud Ghost. Alright, let's get the Shaman in play. I don't know if there's any reason that I should ponder. I mean, if he chalices me next turn, that's going to be pretty sad. Goodbye, you. Such is life. I'll probably ponder before I do anything next turn. Probably eat his land and then ponder in case I want to keep like the top card, but not any of the other two. And then I can shuffle with these two deltas. I guess I could brain. Oh yeah, I should brainstorm. I should try to fix my hand up. Okay. I forget that brainstorm is like better than ponder when you have the resources. It's chalice. Relic. Okay. It's kind of like a chalice. No, it's not. Ooh, it just pops it. Okay. Kind of slows me down a little bit. So actually, here's what we're going to do. We are going to, because our hand's not very good, so we're going to hold priority, sack this, eat it before our shuffle. Get a blue, and then brainstorm. Yeah, and then we will just put these lands back. I guess I should have kept one land. That was a mistake. Because, like, I'm, I'm a little clunky now. Now we let this resolve. We play Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf's going to grow next turn. And we pass. And he's out like a rock. Yeah. My opponent's got how much mana they have? Five mana? Blood Sun. Alright. No more fetch lands for me. That means like no more lands, right? Ooh, that's kind of gross. Daze this. Needle. So that needle named Shaman. So, I already have answered in the graveyard, so there's no sense to using this. So, I'll just ponder on my main phase. I might just play another Tomagoy. I'm in a little bit of trouble. Because I, I, can, I can hit for two, play Tomagoy. Next turn, hit for five at least. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Hey, how's it going there, Farby? Oh, you can't do anything with that. Yeah, I think I'm actually just gonna bash for two, then play this Tarmogoyf, and then look to just start pondering next turn. Just gets another power on the board for next turn for the ponder. I don't really know what's going on in my opponent's deck. They have a lot of, like, hateful stuff. So maybe I do want the Golgari Charms for next game. Yeah, we're we're having, a, we're having a tough time. We might be able to daze this though. No. Okay. That Oracle will die is gonna be kind of annoying. Put the sun on top. I don't think I'm gonna win this game. I of Eugene. 
me though. Yeah, the first one was good. Oh, uh, maybe I should have did now because he would have paid. So they're drawing green from Zenith, which is probably like primeval type next turn. If I had to think. There's one, two, four, five, six. Name's Liliana the Veil. That's probably a good name. Okay, so let's ponder. Let's pump time of Shaman, shaman him. I don't think I want any of these. Alright. Let's take another look. I don't even know. I guess I'm looking for a force of will for this. Delver, Delver, Brain. So I could just go, I could put this Brainstorm, then go Delver and draw Delver. Play Shaman. Then it won't flip, play another Delver. And then it'll flip next turn. So they're probably not blocking, they take four. Then next turn I ship with everything, because I don't care if they block, whatever, they block a Shaman, it doesn't do anything. Pump Tarmogoyf. Yeah, so I think I'm actually just gonna go Brainstorm. Delver, Delver, no, attack for four, I could just attack it with everything now, so I get it more damage next turn, let's throw this away, I'm going to do two, now we're going to keep this shaman, well, shaman's not doing anything, maybe I should have just shipped with it, I'm going to ship with it next turn. This time, whatever this thing does here is going to be scary. I'm sure. Pyroclasm. That's bad. But hopefully, you shuffle it away with green circle. This is good for the home team. That's just a primary little thing right there. Alright, well. And grow time alert. So we might actually get into a position where our opponent can't, like we just clock them with enough damage next turn. Yeah. Okay. Let's do some So if I just go hit here, both of these. Then eat, eat. Is that. What's that? You guys gonna remember you? You're swinging by the camera. The way you see him all the Yeah, we can't, we can't do this here because of this thing. I think we probably just ship. And then we play two more because then, like, he can't. Pyro he can't pyro he can't like green sun zenith for primeval titan again. <laughs> I'm over here. There he is. Look here, buddy. Look here. Look here. Ready? There he is. All right. See you later, babe. I think I'm just gonna ship with everybody because I'm just gonna lose them anyway. Okay. I'm just gonna lose them. He blocks here. Take seven. So I could, if I play both Delvers, then he has the Pyroclasm and can't go get a Primeval Titan and he loses his Oracle Moldaya. And then I assume he goes and gets Primeval Titan. They probably just gets Cloud Post or Glimmer Post. We have a Brainstorm on top. Maybe I just play one Delver so I can have that hold up a Brainstorm. But he just gains like 40 life, right? Off of these posts. I 
I'm just gonna incentivize him to play the pyroclasm. I don't really know how I win, but I'm sure that like the way that I win is a primeval titan not coming down. And I really hope that this maybe makes him not play a primeval titan. I don't really know enough about the intrigue, like how this matchup works in order to really know what's going on with this. Crop rotation, okay. Shuffles their library. This can actually just go get a post. No, but Joku bag. One Delver might have been fine, Johnny. Oh, their Blood Sun. Their Blood Sun makes it so this doesn't work. Oh, it makes it come in and play untapped too. That's weird. Yeah, one double was probably fine. At least now my karma boy's grown. So now he's gonna like. I don't even know. I think you got it. One, two, one, two, three, four, or two, four, five, six, seven. Like I said, I don't really know what's in my opponent's deck. But they pyroclasm and they're dead. So they can't do that. They gotta go get Titan and get some cloud posts. And then we just crack in for six. Hopefully he doesn't get like a tabernacle. If you get a tabernacle, that would suck. Johnny, there's no need for that. All right, I'm not saying anything. I'm just playing for fun. There's no need for you to have a bad attitude. Just chill out. So how much life does he gain? He probably gains like, he can gain eight life. The sad thing about playing both these Delvers that probably wasn't good is that for me to counter this Pyroclasm, I would need to go like, wow, he didn't gain any life. Just dead on the board. Oh yes, he doesn't know my Delvers are flip. But they are. Yes. Draw that. So he goes block, block, get him. All right. I don't really know where the force was there. Yeah, I don't really know anything about my opponent's deck there. I probably just got lucky. They, they made some mistakes and I just got wicked lucky. Yeah. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. It's nice to be back streaming here. I took some time off to take an exam that unfortunately did not go very well, which sucks. So next time I'll have to, next time I'll have to, um, have to try it again. Hopefully, hopefully I can get it. But for now we're back to having fun at least. I do enjoy playing Legacy. I don't play, I don't get to play it very often. I get to play it. Oh, uh, this hand's very good. We'll keep this. We on this trop. Don't show fetch land. It is nice being on the play with these shamans. We're, we're pretty much like, let's hope we don't get turn one. If we get turn one, that's going to be sad. Yeah, it just wasn't, didn't work out. You know, push my, push my foot. Oh, playing a bug mirror. So if I play Tarmogoyf, do I force a Deathrite Shaman from my opponent? Or because I have so many cantrips, I just like, so I kind of want to play Goyf.
kind of get on the board. But I guess I'm doing more. I could, I could go like Ponder and Shaman. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ponder and Shaman. Makes, makes it like I'm a little less open to Wasteland. Could have brainstormed, but I kind of like you all my cards. Okay. What am I doing next time? I'm gonna put this him on the bottom. I think I want all these. But I'm gonna put this him on the bottom just in case I don't want to him. Because I don't know if I'll have the resources to do that. So I'll go like this. Go like this. And then this, and not shuffle. No, I'm not. I'm not like super high on him to Torak in this matchup. I could like brainstorm and him my opponent if like that seems like a good idea. But okay, sad. Good thing we got another one. Let's take a look at this. This is going to let us shuffle away the him if we don't want it. I don't think I want the him unless I draw a couple more lands. But then if I draw lands, I'm going to be out of gas. So I don't, I don't know. I would like to draw one land. Because if I if I draw this if I draw land then him then I get to go Tarmogoyf and him my opponent that basically means that I'm not drawing this Daze ever which is probably okay. So I'll put this Daze underneath, put the him there, and then put the Delta on top. I do not want to shuffle my library and play the Shaman and play the Delta. And pass most of the time. Yeah, you said you were in Cleveland, weren't you? And I was, I was watching one of the streams for the Gamer Craze did. I think I'm gonna force this. Like, I think I'm just gonna like just lean on him, then go like. Okay, they force back. All right, so then that's all right. Do you have a follow up? That sucks. And now I don't want this hand. And then I'll play my shaman. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fight his shaman here. Make sure he doesn't get any. So if he like looks to find mana, then I'll try to deny it. Bail for Strix is pretty big. I don't really have a good way to handle that. It's gonna trade with either my Tarmogoyf or my, or my uh, Delver more than likely unless I find a removal spell. Eating my shaman is doing lucky. Okay. I guess he's like getting in while he can get an activation. In Rio, Texas, geez. Um, no, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna play it, I think. I don't think I'm gonna use it. Because if I just play it and hold it, then I can, if I draw a force, then I can full retail force of will something. It's just not, it's just not doing anything. My opponent appears to be like the little bigger, the bigger Sultai deck. Which I played earlier today and did not go very well. They did not shuffle, which is not good for the home team. Another time away. Which means I can eat something to death, right? Um... Fight him here because this could be a push. I guess now I can wasteland him. 
if I'm, if I'm gonna like then try to cut I should have done that I should have voice landed him and try to cut him off like not let him get the green no yeah that was stupid should have wasted and then just like said like my death right shaman is gonna keep your death right shaman off green that was stupid like if I had a removal spell for like if I can flip to a fatal push that would be sweet is Leovold yeah that is Leovold Oh, we're in trouble. What could he do here? He can have like a fatal push, which doesn't really do anything. He's gonna be able to do it next turn. So I think I'm just gonna let him do this. And then I'll just nug him with my death right shaman. Okay. I didn't think about that. He probably got Snapcaster, so I'll take out the ponder. Yeah, we have we have fallen very far behind on board. I need like a fatal push to kind of stay in it. Cause then I can push this baleful strike and at least start attacking. Brainstorm. Yeah, I mean I'll reveal brainstorm, it doesn't do anything. So like this trades like no matter what, one of my creatures trades for baleful strikes. Maybe I need to like start making something happen. But then like either a Tarmogoyf trades and he has two Tarmogoyfs, or a Delver trades. Yeah, might as well just pass here. I don't think I mean I could try to block this Tarmogoyf. Ponder, yep. Oh, I'm so jealous. He gets the ponder. I don't. and drew a card, so that's good for the home team. I'm just not going to use my death right. He's going to be able to like, out death right me hard. So what does that do? So if I attack with both Tarmogoyfs and this, my opponent just goes trade here, double block, Tarmogoyfs, and nothing happens. Can't shrink these voice to make them smaller. Cause like I could attack with these. But then Tarmogoyfs go to the graveyard and they don't change. Now I'm just gonna play out another goyf. We're in a lot of trouble. And then I'll fight him. I'll try to eat the same thing. Oh, what did I have in there? Turn off all of you. I mean, at least I got the board cleared out. I mean, if I can get rid of... I mean, if I can get rid of this Baleful Strike, so my opponent doesn't draw anything for the rest of the game. Or do a Rainstone, though. Might have a chance, but I'm just really far behind. Because my... I mean, it's, like, it's not, like, this Leovold's obviously a problem because it's, bra it's blank my brainstorm. You just waste the landing me. I guess this kind of shuts me off of Deathrite Shaman, or, or Deathrite Shaman and do things. I, mean, I need to get this out of the way. If I get out of this, this out of the way, I might have a chance. He's just cutting me off Tombstalker. Then, like, hit me for four while he can. So I need to start thinking if I need to start getting the life. Zone red list Leovold. Okay, so if I hit this, my opponent draws a card. Or I can hit this, and then I can brainstorm. Oh, then I can I can just like never beat this matchup. Is that what you're saying there, Johnny Boy? Alternatively, I could hit one of his goyfs and then attack with my three goyfs and this delver. And then he just goes like trade for goyf, block goyf, 
I get this off the field. I have Delver and Goyf. And Delver, Goyf against Goyf, Shaman, Shaman. So I have Delver. I then, I then will have Delver, Goyf, Shaman against Goyf, Shaman, Shaman. Alternatively, I could attack first and then see what he does. The problem is he just goes double block Tarmogoyf and then there's nothing, like, there's nothing good that happens. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's just like nothing good that comes out of this. Maybe I just hit here and then I start going. Or I could try to find a brainstorm to kill one of these death ray shamans. I think the best thing that for me to do is to find, is to like unlock my shaman to then try to deal with his shaman. So like, now I'm gonna eat a land and brainstorm. Why would I brainstorm on my turn? Is there any point doing this on my turn? I would just want to keep a land. But he might have like a force, so yeah, I was gonna do this. No, yeah, I don't want him to like death ready me out. Okay. So I, I don't want to actually use this wasteland. So I'm just gonna put this, then this, and then just play this and pass. Oh, I can't, because I don't want to double black. I gotta hope my opponent gets a little wily with their shamans, I guess. These shamans might just kill me. I do not wish this card was legal and modern. This card is like just so good. The problem is, is I can't... Like if I just eat this, then I'm just slowly dying to these. Let's see, maybe I just, this is like my Hail Mary here. Do I have a daze underneath though? So this doesn't even do anything, I just messed all this up. Yeah. All right, I'll let him out as soon as I've done my my uh, my game. Yeah, well, sweet me in. Come here. Sweet me in. Come here. I can't stop mid match. Oh, I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll take him out after another match. Just bring him over here. He doesn't have to go. We'll be right back. Be right back. Sacks of death rate. Okay, that's actually kind of good for the home team, right? So now I get in with this. Yeah. We're gonna start attacking, you gotta start trading somehow. I should have done this beforehand. Yes, also play quicker.
This is a Jace. Uh, this is a Jace, okay? So now he bounces the Goyf. Eats a land, pushes a Goyf. Let's oh, this is my Goyf, okay? That's alright, because I can actually just, like, on my turn. I can on my turn gain two life and tick up. Block. But then he just. Yeah, I don't think I can actually. I can gain two life, yeah. So I'm just gonna gain two life on my turn. He ticks down, I block. He probably attacks Liliana. So let's go up here. I mean, I'm super. I'm probably super dead. I should, probably should just concede for time. But yeah, no, I didn't like that for a challenge in modern. I mean, I did, I did at the time, but now that I've played with it, I understand, like, how good it is. And I don't, I do not think that, it's just on a different level of power than every other card. I mean, I played Death by Challenge in my zoo deck before it was banned. I should just concede this game, yeah, I'm gonna lose this game. Enjoy and click. I can just prolong this game really, but I'm, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to win no matter what. Because if my opponent just got into this into this late game, I couldn't get through their stall. Has to attack Liliana. Okay, so now I get his Jace off the battlefield. Alright. That's not bad, so I actually just attack his Jace. I think I'm just gonna attack Jace. Decay this shaman, play my own Tarmogoyf, and then hope to untap. Because if I untap, I actually am in a not bad position, I don't think. As long as I can fade one draw step. I could just decay a Tarmogoyf too, but like that still doesn't really do a lot because it just gets this here. But we're at, we're at death rate parity, so maybe it's worth it to just not like die on the next turn. I think I'm gonna go for the win. And I think the best way to win is to have me exile this trap. Make black. Hit this shaman. And then hit. Then just play another goyf. And then just hope we untap. Because if we untap, we can wait and start shaman. No. So if I if I decayed the Tarmogoyfs, if I decayed Goyf, I'd had another I'd had another round at it. But alas, it was not how it ended up. So I don't really know if I want hymns in this matchup or not. I think I want loam. I want library. Decay seems good. Last hope is good. Um, I would assume I'm on the play. I don't want all of my forces. Him is just like, him is good to start with, and it's good on like the play. I, mean, I don't want to, uh, but I, it just seems, like I, I don't want to cut, mm, I guess I'm going to keep my hymns in. At least keep a couple, keep some of them in. So I only have four cards here that I really want. Maybe I want another push. I don't love Tombstalker against like another Deathrite Shaman and Jace deck. I'm about to play quickly now. I want to keep my dazes in on the play. Maybe I can shave a cantrip and keep one more of these in. I'll keep him in on the play. Mm. 
Just if I can hit like all of the removal, maybe I can cut one more removal spell also, and then play this another hymn. Yeah, I'll try to board the hymns out in the draw. Okay, I need to play quickly. Um, I'm gonna ship this. That was him better. Put on top. Play a shaman. Then if my opponent like goes fetch land shaman, then I can either decay and play Tarmogoyf. Dot C's. Takes my brain stone. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack him for one and then play Goyf. Baleful Strike's gonna be really annoying. Okay, that's another shot. Surprised he didn't ponder first. I guess he could have thought I had days. Get this thing out of here. I think I'm just getting in with it. Then playing another shaman, then just hope I don't get dailers. Just like pray like one time no toxic deluge. I'm just gonna get another underground like underground sea. If my opponent takes a turn off um like wasting me, then I think that we're in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna like waste into baleful strix. That would make me puke. But now they're dead over two turns. Okay, top left, sure. Place that. Okay, we take that. And then I'm gonna just do this now so that in case they play like delve cards. And I can also just pass. Umazawa's Jitte, that is bad for the home team. It's probably just better for me to, how many stuff they got? One, two. So I actually do, oh, I messed this up so bad. Yeah, I messed up here. Then I should have just brainstormed. I should have brainstormed my main phase. Not good. All right. So now, go eat. So I need to like ponder in my or brainstorm in my main phase to hit a black source, so that I have enough mana to kill him. Didn't hit, that sucks. I'm um, just gonna go like that, and then just keep the force and the blue card. I'm gonna force a click if you got something like that. I played this very poorly. I think I think I just went too fast. I was worried about my time. I was delivered him. Yeah, I, play, I played too quickly. I didn't play very well. So I think I'm going to take these hymns out on the draw and just have a little bit more, like, removal in my deck. Cause I, and then, like, another... And I would actually probably can cut my dazes. Maybe I want targeted discard. I also don't hate spell pierce against, like, the deck that is looking to uh, play a Jace. Yes, I could have there. I could have, yeah, I could have done that. I don't really like any days. I don't think I want any days against this deck on the draw. I will bring my forces back in. I think I think it's more important, even though it's card disadvantage for me. I think it's more important for me to be able to. Um, if he's got four true names, I think I want this Golgari charm. Then maybe I want this Deluge. If that's what, like what Johnny said. 
kind of want to find some rooms for these hands, but I, like he's got so many, like such so many powerful cards that I kind of want my forces to just be able to like hedge against them. Maybe this Tombstalker. I don't know. I don't really like this Tombstalker. We'll try this. Yeah, I could have done that for sure. That would have been a good play. I think it's good. Hopefully we don't get... Hopefully they don't play a Shaman. If we can find a Wasteland, we're in pretty good shape. We have to kill that thing. Hopefully my opponent doesn't like turn too early on on me. Just like the old days. Don't turn too early on me. And my lamb, which is and my lamb, which kind of sucks. How do you do? Um, no, I'm not going to try to draw. Alright, so now I'm just going to eat their land. And then I can just get this Sylvan Library down. He's going to be able to eat my loam, which sucks, but it is what it is. At least I have a force up to deal with something that he could have. Okay, that happens. That that him was that him on the play was pretty good. I'm going to force this. And then ditch my brainstorm. Don't have a force back. All right, thank God. Um, how, how does this work? I don't know, I'm gonna go like this. Yes? Yeah. The taco? Um, uh, you talking about the other one? Okay. So it gets for each one. Bang, bang, and ponder. I could just take 12. I think I'm just going to take, yeah. We're going to pay for it, keep in hand. Actually, I don't think I want this deluge. But I'm going to want this deluge. That's a good backup thing. We'll keep it. So let's ponder, look at some new cards. Want all of these? So we'll just draw the delta. Go like this. Actually, I don't even know because of the del the delver. But this delver is not going to be very good. Oh, that was stupid. Blue. Yeah, now this Delver's not going to flip. I don't remember. I know I have Tarnal Life underneath. Him. Okay, you got my last two cards. Hopefully he doesn't play a true name. I'm just playing quickly because I'm worried about my time. I should slow down. Okay, so he plays a Shaman. And then he plays another Shaman. Or just like Gurmag Angler. So put on top. Put 
put it on top. <clears throat> this and then I'll just pass. I'll flip my delver to an abrupt decay, decay one of these, use the other one to gain me some life and then just start attacking over. I'm not going to use my shaman. I'm going to wait. We're just going to take it slow. I have so many shamans though. I'm going to be able to do a lot of stuff. I think I'm going to win this game. If I don't time out, I think I'm going to win. Yeah, it is late. It is late. Took the dog to the vet. Yes. Yes, I will use the library. Put on top. Put on top. Right. I do need to watch my life total purely because like there is no more way to gain life in the graveyard besides this shaman. So I mean they can just eat this. Like I'm at I'm at a virtual four. But we got a Tarmor Wife on top. I should have attacked with this shaman. That was stupid. Again, I'm just moving quickly because I'm worried about my time. I just missed a point. I'm playing, playing drive probably out. Yeah, that's what I'm playing. like to use the library. Put on top. Put on top. And I'm just going to play this time of boys. Oh, he's got a decay. Oh, he's got a click. He's going to click away my goyf. That is so bad. That's all right. We draw a ponder. Oh, the lands there. Okay, well, I mean, that we're gonna be able to like fight over the death ray chance, which is pretty easy. Surprise is trading. Okay, and we'll pass. So that's just more life for our shaman, which is pretty good. As long as he doesn't wasteland us off green. Surprised that he didn't try to go for like an attack there. Click was like a two for one, which kind of sucks. All right, so now I'm gonna eat their ponder. And then, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this one. I'm gonna untap, use the library. Pretty good. Put on top. Put on top. Get this thing off the battlefield. He uses it, and we use it, and then I go. I probably should have actually waited because I'm in control of the death right shamans. Yeah, that was stupid. I'm just misplaying all over the place here. Like I'm in such control of all the shaman activations.
I'm actually gonna make green with this one, I think. No, I'm just gonna make black. Quick doesn't kill me in two shots. So I'll have time to like gain life with the Vindalian quick. And he's just dead on the untap here. You need to like play a you need to like play a Jace and bounce. He needs to remove one of these shots. Maybe shot was just gonna kill him. That is why this card is obnoxious. Because it's a little mana dork that actually kills people also. Hit him quick. Probably quicks himself. Just clicking away is okay, okay. It is past my bedtime, but I've been up later with the dog recently. Right? Well, this race is going to get weird if I don't kill this click. There's, there's Ponder we need. Yep. Okay, so we can kill the click. Not gonna trade. It's gonna eat and then just probably do nothing with this. I see why he tried to eat a land there. He tried to entice me to eat a land as well, which I should have just let him eat the land. Well, no, I guess I needed the land to activate my Shaman anyways. Okay. We did on the untap. out like I library myself. Oh, nope. click too many times. Yeah, then you get the F6 train on. There we go. 3 and 0 to finish this league out, then I'm going to bed. I appreciate everybody that's showing up and hanging out. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, you can always find my streams on YouTube. If you guys can uh, like or subscribe there, it's my next streamer goal to get monetized there. Follow me on Twitter, we can talk about magic. Um, Gamer Craze in Canton, New York, is where I like to play magic. They're a great store. Uh, I have their Crystal Commerce linked below. They have good price singles. So if you're Find singles in the upstate New York, just check them out. And the stream's brought to you by Cardo. If you need anything Magic Online related, you should check out Cardo. Worm Bones, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm going to go be right back.
Looks like who lost weight? You talking about Gerard, Johnny? Yeah, my YouTube video is quick. I have a lot of content on Death Shadow. Oh, me? Well, I really haven't done too, too much lately. I haven't, like, just working, studying has been rough. So if I did, it was all lucky. I'm still not super sold on this card in the main deck over this one. Like, this this card helps the Baleful Strict matchups a lot. And it also helps, like, the Grixis Delver matchup a lot. Buck Nasty. I don't know this guy. He's got a cool name, though. Seen playing Death and Taxes four days ago. No, just, well, the stream, I usually play a lot of Death Shadow. I usually play mostly modern. I just got Johnny's GC Bursets. Um, I just got his cards for today. So I decided to play a little, play a little Delver. This hand's like not super great. I don't have any like a thread on one, but you get the old Garmatoid just sending a message. Holy shnikes. Do we want to get that guy down? Is it worth playing Delver now? This guy's just like, he's letting me know what's going on here. So now I have to probably just decay the stone for mystic. Unless they get like a non-batter skull. Yeah. That sucks. That didn't work out very well. Yeah, I mean I don't know if it's right to play the Delver right into a wasteland. But I don't know, but it definitely is, you know, we just pissed away our turn. I didn't think about that. You would have done that? Oh. I want to get this Goyf down. That's, that's what I was, that's what I was about. But maybe the Delver is better than the Goyf. I was worried about, like, I was thinking in my head what to do. I was like, I might not have internalized it well, but he was... I was worried about, like, Delver doesn't really tweak to, like, Flicker Wisp and such, also. And I was like, there's more cards that mess with the end of Darmogoyf, I guess. That second one of those is not good. So I might as well just get a Bayou. Because if you if you waste me off either of these, I'm not super worried about it. But... Definitely got work there. A Thalia into a Wasteland would suck. I guess I should turn off my stock because I have Force of Will in my deck. Okay, and that's what I don't know about it. But maybe, like, because of how Death and Taxes works, now they have, like, a lot of really good two drops. Maybe I should have just been like, oh, you can't buy your two drops. You can either, you can either like, waste me or not have to do that, which probably was a good thing to do. I get to force something. I'd be down. Yeah, that's got to, we got to get that out of here. I'm, I'm pretty excited to force that, especially because like I get to pitch a force. Like a Thalia would suck, but mom is just going to like brick wall everything that I do for the rest of the game. Oh, like a Blood Moon? When he 
play Arid Mesa? Wouldn't Arid Mesa make more sense? Unless he's just like not about the basic mountain plan. They're thinking about it. If they play like a two drop again. So if he plays a two drop, then I do get to go like Tarmogoyf, Delver. And I can go Delver, Deathly Chomp. Which I think is, I like, I just like double spelling. So he's got, I'm not gonna, he's got a Flicker Whisk coming. Oh, I just revealed that on accident, that sucks. Well, that, uh, I hit the wrong button. Um, I guess I can brainstorm, set this up to flip, and play Shaman, which is probably better than just playing Goyf. Or I can, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. So we'll put both, we'll put, no, so we'll put this. Then this back, waste the one that's on the elemental, play shine. So we know he's got batter skull and then two unknowns. Probably one's a flip the list. I think, I'm not really super sure. Oh, we're gonna get. At least we can, even if you waste this, we can still play. Yes, reveal ponder. Okay, we're gonna attack and get the timer words down. I kind of feel like we're in an all right spot. Like as long as this shaman lives. We have another time away coming next turn. As long as he doesn't get up to Batter Skull. If he plays a Batter Skull, that's not going to be good. Alright, we're just going to attack with both the Morons. And play a third Moron. This is the first first games of Magic I've played in like two weeks. Feels good. It has been a hot minute. Now if we draw a land, we can actually flip Tarmogoy, or we can pump Tarmogoy from another shot. We can kill them through a... Uh, if we can flip Tarmogoy, we can... Pump up Tarmogoyf with Ponder, and then with Deathrite Shaman, kill them through a block. But this probably means my Delver's getting um, flipped back. But he might flip a Tarmogoyf and block the Delver, honestly. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, you're right, Johnny. No, I don't live in Maine. So this probably means he has another Flicker Wisp. If I had to guess. Flicker Wisp gets his Goyf off the battlefield. No, he gets my Shaman off. Okay. Flip. Yes. Alright. Go attack with everybody. He's got to block at least one. Probably just trades. He's dead to the shaman coming back. Unless he's got a blood moon. No, I, I live in down in uh, I live in Virginia. I spent some time in Maine. I had an internship up there a couple years ago while I was still in college. So 
That doesn't really do it, right? Unless you're just hoping that I miss it. Well, that is not, not what's going to go on here. Oh, he's got another. Okay. I mean, he's got a double. He's got to, like, he's going to lose his board this turn. Cast that after combat. I guess I should have made it now because even I couldn't play it through the Thalia. Alright, so we get rid of one of these. Wrath is bored. Ponder, try to set up like a removal spell or something. Yeah, so let's go. Bing, bing, bing. No. Oh, shoot. I didn't have another blue. That's all right. I mean, we have a fatal push coming next turn, and this shaman is lethal. Nice. I work. Uh, I, I work in. Uh, I've been in a lot of the GSA buildings. I do a lot of work for uh, one of our companies that's contract with GSA, so I do a lot of work in those buildings. All right. So I think I want all of my removal. All right. Everything that says kill a creature on it. I don't want any counter spells. So let's see what else. I also don't really want these hands. Probably want thought sees. Him is like okay, but it's like you can him after a batter spell, I guess. But I think I'd rather have like loan. I'd rather have loan and library, I think. Recur wasteland, especially if he's on the red plan. Yeah, Dave's probably as good on the play, Johnny. With that, we are not on this round, but it'll probably be pretty good. I'll probably be able to bring it back in. I kind of like thought targeted discard against Stone Force Mystic is good. Guard Charm can wrap this board. I'm not super excited about Veils. Maybe I want to board out some Veils. <coughs> Maybe I'll cut these and. I have a couple of these in because they're a little cheaper. Yeah. At least this kills a creature. <coughs> I don't have any maskers in my board. Alright, this hand's pretty good. Oh, can you get Gideon? I didn't even think about Gideon. I guess Force also hits like Rest in Peace. Keep him off a two drop, and then we'll try to set up like Tarmogoy for life from the loan. Alright, so there's another one of those. Alright, so that's pretty good. But hate to see a mom. I probably shouldn't have wasted because I if you with a vial, I should be able to answer a mom on two. Because if he just moms me now, I'm probably dead. Or it's at least not good. He's just pump faking me. I'm trying to see if I have bite on a stifle. If he tries to port me, I'm just gonna like let it, I'm gonna fetch and then just loan. Alright, yeah, I think I just wanna like not let this mana denial plan happen. 
like I'll just go get double I'll go get like Trop and Bayou and then just loan back my three lands I could just decay this That's a dip card, but it's like whatever, at least I got my engine going. I guess I didn't really do anything there. I just basically made it so that I wouldn't need this card this turn. That was stupid. So I could just do that next turn. I guess it would have might have been a little more difficult to do that next turn. So now I just ditch my delta. Yeah, that wasn't good, because then I just discard. So, like, I had the right idea. Death Rite Shaman, okay. So now I'll just ditch two of these Deltas. Then I'll, like, loam him. I'll probably, like, I'll actually I'll probably just start wastelanding him. Crusader. Okay. This probably isn't good. Did you just go get another recruiter? Look at this. He goes in the yeah, and bounces a recruiter. Okay. Game over. That was weird. That was really weird. And I think that I I think I played it poorly. Because like well, I was setting up to play a really long game, and then he just went way underneath me. So maybe I should think about that while I sideboard. Probably can cut these two tomb stalkers. Just bring in a couple like three dazes. Because he's probably his resting piece. And the tomb stalker is like and he's is, he's got two. He's got that. And he's got plow. I kind of like Tombstalker against like the non-plow decks. At least that's what I did when I when I played the one turn with it. I got Daces on the play. I think I'm gonna go with this. Just try to get under him. I think I probably just was stupid doing that because I'm just like not lining up with the Delver game plan. Like I'm just not being aggressive. So maybe I should have this loam out of my deck anyways, and then have like another while well, I'm on the play, you know, just like to be consistent. Yeah, that seems good. I could get wasted off my only blue source, which would suck, but we're gonna risk it. Like we have some play. Yeah, fun to be back streaming. I missed this. It's really sucked. It makes my not passing my exam feel even worse. I do like we can deal with a mom on one. If he just goes like cavern mom, that would be sweet. So don't find my dog. This guy down. Well, we have a pretty good turn next turn. I can go like Fatal Push, Wasteland if they play Athalia. If they don't play Athalia, I can go like Brainstorm, then Fatal Push, Wasteland. Yeah, that was that was poor by me. 
I should have brainstormed first. Like, I, there's basically a 100% chance that I'm going to do that line of play anyways, but I should at least, like, give myself the opportunity not to. My days, whatever this is. I'm going to use my mana here, so brainstorm. That's not good. So I actually want to get rid of this and this. Then this turn, I'll ponder in the fussies. I'm actually. I'm gonna look for what I have to learn first. Get my challenge by you. So I'm actually just gonna go like this. Thoughts he's a magus. Alright, take this recruiter. So we have both of us have kind of exhausted each other out here a little bit. this out. This gets passed. Read the land goif. I don't remember how I stacked those. I probably stacked those last ones poorly. Wasteland wasting up my blue. That's all right. So now I'm going to try to sit on this um feels fine thank god <laughs> we were on it uh, so now we're gonna start to get ported a little bit but at least we're cracking in there with a five six i'm gonna try to hold on to this brainstorm though like i don't really want to brainstorm i don't have any cards in my hand and i would like i'd like for it to accomplish something and now it's just not doing anything. Probably should have held that land. Alright, now we gotta try. I don't have any forces in my deck. Yeah, so now we just gotta let this go. That sucks. Can I force me? Again, I think I'm just going to hold this brainstorm. Right on time. I think I'm just going to do this now, actually. Slow burn going on. Okay. So I'm probably going to be likely to brainstorm next turn because I'm going to see another card. I just want to keep all my cards. check it out because we can I mean it's, it does kind of suck that like we don't get to shuffle we might brainstorm lock ourselves but all right so at least we're not getting brainstorm locked not going to decay this Chris Holmes would say everyone loves Holmes 
I just need something. I board out. I think I boarded out my Tombstalkers too, right? New sideboard. I did board out my Tombstalkers. Tombstalker would be sick right now. What is this? This is a batter skull. Set him back. I guess port life of dudes. I don't know what you mean, Johnny. Alright, that's something. You got a flip for me, Delver. I need some flip. We, if Delver flips, we can win. My opponent doesn't draw anything good. All right, we're going to Port Town. Good thing is you can't double port me and bounce the. Batter skull, which is good. Flip Delver. Come on. No. That's a pretty good. I mean, Delver's not going to flip. That's the next best draw. Now we just dismember his batter skull next turn. And then I think we, I mean, depending on what he draws, I think we're in good shape. Easy with the, easy with the stuff, Johnny. Alright? That's, that's just, I, what it is, is it's unmonetized YouTube music. It won't flag me, but it's just background music. There's the batter skull. Remember this. Hope to God he didn't draw a fucking list. Yeah, well, I don't care if you're joking, Johnny. Like, you know, there's a time and a place for the joke. All right, I'm gonna pray that he didn't draw off the list. We're just jamming with this Delver. The flicker list is bad as hell. Oh, he drew a flicker list. <sighs> that sucks. I mean, I guess it doesn't really like. You can't eat it, but you can just trade here. Goyf is still a big dude, but that is frustrating. Oh my god, and that's so bad. That was just like a such gross runner runners. Now you support me off of everything. Um, I think we're in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I have to push the germ token. Which isn't like not relevant. You can't shut me off of like everything if I do that. Okay. Tarmaloids. 
I'm going for another. Oh, wow, he's not even gonna. This must mean he's got something to do here. That's what the challenge. All right, don't flicker wisp your batter skull. Oh my gosh, no way. Recruit the guard. Okay, well, that's still pretty bad. Cause he just equips it to it. Yeah. Yeah, we're dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get get in here so I can finish the league. Play the last one. Oh, that was gross. I do like. What's going on here? I think I would like to figure out how to find room for an edict. No. Could see it being like this him. Maybe this loan also. And one of these being an edict. Kind of wouldn't mind like maybe a couple tuning, pair of tuning on this would be sweet. I don't like Strix and Delver decks. To tell you the truth, Johnny, I've, I've never, I've watched how they play, and I've, I've just never been a huge fan of them. But I, I get what they do, and I think they just trade two for one, but you're just like not against, uh, this hand's pretty good. Against slower decks, I just don't like them. Kind of real. Underground C, and then Ponder. I have one pierce my sideboard. Do I want any of these? I, think I just want to shuffle. I think I can just do better than this. I mean, it's going to suck if I get wasteland in one, but I think I'm just going to shuffle. For safety, we have a daze. plan here we're going we're going tarm away into Liliana with days back up that's our plan that's our safety I draw a death ray shaman I'm, gonna, I'm actually just gonna waste this and play shaman then I will learn I didn't want a second Tarmogoyf, and I just didn't feel like I was doing enough. Like I thought I could. I thought like a random look off the top was better than average of those. Okay, so let's get our boy down. Hopefully, this draws some action from our opponent. Like if they daze it, right? Daze back. Sad. My opponent plays a shaman. I think I'm gonna daze it to see what they do. And then on my turn, I'll go push plus wasteland. But two beaters are better than one. You do speak some facts. I think we're playing against a fair deck. Which we're playing against a fair deck. Our opponent goes like. My opponent plays something that I can get here, then I'm just gonna. This is a Delver, I'm gonna daze it. I just wanna cash this daze in whenever I can. I'm gonna try to push this. I'm gonna try to wasteland this first. I don't really just. I could just jam this Liliana. Liliana trades for a force. Robin Sparks. I could trade this Liliana for a force. That's like my whole turn. Or I could just go Wasteland into push. I kind of like just getting this thing off the table for sure. So let's go this. And then if my opponent forces, 
then I get the days of force. I'll try to set the Liliana up next turn. Yeah. I'd like to have an opinion. I'd like to play my Liliana, because like if he countered my Liliana, then I couldn't really do anything. And it makes it so like I just don't like my Liliana's just bad, if that makes sense. Like, it's my whole turn and it doesn't accomplish a whole lot. This is a pyro, I'm gonna try to do it. Unfortunately, we're going to have to jam into this. We just got one red mana just sitting there. Eat it, eat it. If they have like a spell pierce or something, then we get to get them here, but I doubt that's what they have. Eat it, you. I took just one. I just played with uh, my deltas and catacombs and took one misty. He's like, is this forcible? Is this forcible? Yeah, so he's definitely gonna force. But if he forces, it does make my Tarmogoyf huge. this go because a really weak brainstorm and I would like to daze whatever he brainstorms into and if he has the double daze and he sets him back up two lands and if he forces then I get to daze that this is just a really weak brainstorm he doesn't have anything to shuffle he doesn't have anything going on I really like this deck it seems much worse than Grixis Delver, but I do like what this does here. She get in there? Yeah, she is. You bad girl. For one, now we still have this days up, which is really good, and we can do something next turn where, like, we if we, my opponent lands like an angler, we can tick up to discard another card from them, discard our rainforest, then play another veil. This is a true name that's gonna suck. I mean, it doesn't really suck because we have another answer to it, but it could suck. They like. True name plus force plus counter spell. <clears throat> I feel like I'm ahead. I feel like we're in the driver's seat, but it definitely could go could go sideways. Sucks. This card is very annoying. This will be bolts my little. We got here. We got a big fish. So I am going to be able to counter this. Which means I could have the chance to go just counter this into Edict. 
unless they found it. But... Days me back, more than likely. And he gets a yeah. Now we're in trouble. It's Pyro. Pyro's gonna get me. I need to find a way to deal with this thing right now. That's right on time. I'll probably just get his last card. Ditch my Misty. Play a Liliana and tick down. Depending on what his last card is, it could make my Tarmogoy large enough to rumble with this angler. We get that elemental off the board, baby. Yeah, I thought I was in the driver's seat this whole game. This is the matchup where I really like last time, because you just like deal with these little guys. But Lily but Liliana's really good against this angler. They're top that game. So if we find our removal spell, our Tomboy is larger than their Pyromancer. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's attack. Right, chain in. What is this? Just dazing for, why don't you just, oh, okay. Just dazing for a token, all right. This checks this. I take seven and kill him. Well, he can't attack with at least one of them. He's got to hold back one of his creatures. We have a healthy life total. Yeah, do I trade the Shaman? Nah, I don't trade the Shaman. Now, that sucks. Give him your attack. I think if I block with my pyro here and try to trade this off next turn, my tongue then didn't become bigger than the skirmag angler. Which is nice. Should have kept. Should have kept the him and just hemmed him. There was no point not to. Win in Cincinnati, Johnny. Now I think I'm going to trade this pyro off, gain two life, and then try to hold down this fort with the Tarmogoyf. No, not March 24th. I got stuff going on then. 
No, I am booked up for the beginning of the year. Yeah, I'm booked. I'm booked up for the beginning of the year. Until I get this big fiber and air project done at work, like I am, I'm off it. Sucks. So I think I'm gonna trade. Now, I think I'm going to, I can take seven, nug him, well, the problem is we have to just have a him to Torak on the top of our deck. So I think I'm just going to go like this, and then I'm going to gain two life, oh, there's no creatures in the graveyard. Oh yeah, so that's what makes Tongue Life large enough to deal with this. Then I'll him him. What? The Tongue Wolf didn't grow? There was no creatures in the graveyard. That's so weird. But now I'm just going in, I think. My turn away should be a six, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, it was a five, six before I hinned them. Then when I hinned them, it became a five, six. That's weird. Is what's-his-name going to Phoenix? So if missed this turn, then I've got Force Up. Oh, yeah. Get out of my face. Okay, so I want this. I want this. I want this. This. And this. I want everything that says Killer Creature. I want hymns. Dazes. This loan is supposed to be good in Delta Mirror. Maybe I don't want this Golgari charm also. I was, I was told this loan is good. I'm going to try it. Bye viewers, I hope everybody had a good time. This is gonna be our last match of the night. And then I am going to bed. An early wake up for me. Appreciate had a couple new follows tonight. I appreciate that. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Gonna register tomorrow for what? This days is probably no good. It's probably better than like a random thought sees. This hand is garbage. This hand's not very good. Punch one of five though. So we'll take it. Oh, you're registered tomorrow? Yeah, you should definitely register before you get there. That would be a good plan. I probably should get that on top so I don't get wastelanded out of this game. And I can land my Liliana on time. Yeah, that was stupid. What do you got? Nothing, or you're gonna blind. I guess he doesn't keep therapy in after sideboard. Oh, that's not bad. At least it wouldn't make sense for him to play therapy after sideboard. Oh, there's my new mode. What are you gonna play, John? You gonna play Bug Delver? You gonna play Food Chain?
We are getting wasted. Alright, Delaware, give me a flip. And then I'll play out another Delver. Play Stinky Chum. Has Coffee got an extra deck for you? Or did you trade it into the pieces? Alright, we need these guys to flip. They flip. Using his, what's he playing? Oh, you're the only one going. I thought that uh, Tyler Cook was going. Hmm. This is a weak brainstorm. This is just them like desperation digging for days because they know if these flip, they're probably dead. That sucks. And they're probably locked. Right. No, nope, we don't pay for this. That's all right. I mean, they're down two lands. You know, it's a good deal. So they have a land in there. Probably gonna go bolt my Delver. I would assume. Maybe a cantrip. They found Dave and both of us pretty good. Sad. I think the Delvers in this deck are a little worse. Like I do think you have a more you have a higher density of non-creature spells. He's dazing, he's gonna fall further and further behind. Yeah, he's gonna daze. We're just gonna bolt this. Brainstorming. This guy is just like clawing at the bits. In. This is a goif. This flips, man. We get another turn of So we knew about that. Lava man. Flip. I'm just gonna attack and use it. Just nag everything. I mean, he should block. Okay. He didn't. But I'm just gonna use this. Well, no, nah, this gives me an out to Pyro. We still have young Pyromancer covered. Can't counter that man. So we know he's got a daze. The other green black. And this is what this is a big reason why I like this Bug Delver deck a lot. From these mirrors, I just feel like you've got like your deck's a little more clunky because you have more two drops because you've like hams, turn works, and decays. But god, this has just felt super sweet. When opponent plays a true name, I'm gonna charm in their upkeep. First legit brainstorm they've had. This game, which kind of sucks. Oh. 
Can we pyromancer into it's gonna be a fish? Oh god, sure. Don't push my dude. Okay. Just gonna jam another glory down his throat. Oh here comes the Ponderosa. I haven't liked my opponent's secrets in here. I don't think they've secrets very well. But they also multiply, which on the play, which sucks. Again, play another Goyf. That is a nice part about this deck is like your secondary threat of Tarmogoyf is like just it's just really potent at winning the game. You know, like it it takes. It's not quite as good as like. How do I say this. Um, it just really, it's good at just winning. It, it like, it, it comes down. It's easy. It's big. It doesn't need help like in Pyromancer or the Anglers. I really like how just simple Time Life is. My opponent is delving. I can't. They can delve my tunnel worth off of a 3 4. Shrinking yep. voice. Draw this shaman. So we go this, this, this. No. This gets the counter spell out of his hand. That he's been sitting on. And then next turn we. Oh wow, you know the counter spell. Okay. Oh, he's got a lightning bolt. He's got a bolt. Alright, still jamming this way on it. I could actually attack with my Goyfs, and then use the Golgari Charm to regenerate and attack past through them. No, actually that's not how it works. Because regenerate takes an attack on that. I also could just attack and then Golgari Charm to kill this, which is one he doesn't block. Yes, yeah, I think we're going to attack. He blocks. Yeah, I figured that out. It took me a second, Johnny. There's that counter spell we were talking about this whole game. Alright, well at least we got him top decking to where if we draw land next time we're gonna be able to beat it this. Nope. So this was like a little, I mean I did get two for one here. But I have like I have the Liliana back up and and like the, even even now, if he counters my Liliana, the eat it, the the, the goyf then goes over the top of him. Okay, so we're just gonna play draw go. Like he's got then abyss. A true name nemesis is what we're really worried about now, I guess. Oh, 
we won't fight over it. We can't win. We just need to land. Land off the top. Funny, if I drew a him, I could actually him myself, hoping to put my Liliana in the graveyard. None of us are doing anything. Land off the top. Come on, there we go. So this should do it because it means that it's. Angler has to chump even if he counters this Liliana. one with the deck. I think I think I might play this in the challenge this weekend. I think I'm up to changing maybe moving these like tomb stalkers to the side or out of the deck and trying maybe two tuning on assist. I could see doing something like that. Maybe shaving on bales. Maybe adding like another um, another whatever it is uh, edict to the board. Give me another out to tune in. We don't know, maybe I can cut these Lilianas. But I'm not sure. It's just like a different kind of thread here. I definitely had to fight through a bunch of Deathrite Shamans, what I've been playing today, and the Stalkers have felt a little clunky. It was, you know, it, it did a lot of work in helping me in some matchups, but it's kind of just food for thought. But I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. I'll be back on later this week. See you guys later.